So I wanted to demo a new feature that I just worked on. This is actually was like issue number five on GitHub. So it's been there for a couple years and something that I wanted to do. It was a little difficult to figure out. But kind of goes along with so Keith added the functionality to be able to automatically light your lights and create the custom models. So this is more of a manual method. So I click and I had a custom model up here. So what you'll be able to do now is so normally you would have a, have your model here. And let's say I'm going to make this well let me not do it yet. Yeah, I'll cancel. What you'll notice there's a new field in the property grid where you can come and select a background image. So I'll just pick something that I have hanging around. And now when I open that up, I've got a background image on there. So now I'll make make the grid a little bit bigger. And it helps to fully fit the, the picture in the window. And I like to use these resize buttons a couple, like maybe go down and up. That gets all your squares nice. And, so you'll notice it's probably too bright. So I've got this lightness slider so you can lighten the image down. That'll allow you to type in your numbers. Let's say you want to start typing in one, two, three. Let me highlight, delete. Well, I guess you can only delete one at a time. The other thing is this button here is basically just to quickly hide that image. Okay, that's, that was the main initial feature, and then I showed it to the other developers, and then, uh, of course, you show them something, and new ideas start flowing in, so this was the, the next idea, was to be able to have auto numbering, so once you click that and turn that on, it's going to start with whatever channel number's in this box, so I could just start clicking the cells in here, and... You can notice right now I'm getting all all channel ones in there. And I'll just hit OK so you can see it's already starting to draw that that model. Like I said, you can take that picture out if you need to see it better. Or actually the slider all the way would make it disappear also. The other thing when you, I, I turn this off every time you open the dialog just to, so you, you don't accidentally start clicking and getting new channel numbers. So if you turn that on, and let's say I wanted to like work on channel 6, I could start clicking channel 6 in here now. But let's say that I have um, smart pixels and I want to start at channel 1, I can click auto increment and now I'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So basically if auto increment's on, it's just going to take whatever number you start with in here and then automatically start going up from there or you uncheck the auto increment and it's going to stay stuck on whatever channel you have typed in that field. So Hoping this will give people a little bit quicker method to create their their custom models. So I hope you enjoy.